my channel I just found this anti Valentine's Day look for you guys with two lip options this is the second lip option obviously but um, I will post a link below to a video explaining why I am anti Valentine's Day and I hope you will check that out if you are interested and if not no worries just keep watching and you can see how I got this look um, yeah, and I have several first impressions in this video as well. It's going to be a talk through. So, um, a little voiceover anyway, not a talk through, just kidding. Um, but yeah, um, if you like this look, please continue watching. Thanks again. God bless you all. Bye. Alright, first I'm going in with some Mario Badescu Rose Water. Then I'm going to take my Morphe G36 brush with some Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. It's just a moisturizer. I believe it's an oil. It has actual gold in it, so it's pretty cool. And I'm just putting that all over my face. Next, I'm going in with Benefit Professional, just in my T-zone, just to fill in some of my larger pores. rubbing that all in and I, I really just press it into those pores and then I'm gonna blend it in with that same Morphe brush next I'm taking my Smashbox camera ready BB cream in the shade medium light or light medium and mixing it with this Japanese liquid light and I'm going to be using that as my foundation today. I probably should have mixed this beforehand. It is a little too dark for me, but we made it work <laughs> for the video anyway. Next, I'm going in with this Urban Decay um, Pressed Powder Foundation in the shade Light Medium and just going over all of that foundation just to set it in um, all of that good stuff. Next, I'm just taking my Tarte Shape Tape. I absolutely love this concealer. I don't know that I'll ever be able to use any of the other ones that I own ever again because I love this one so much. Um, this one's in the shade Light. I'm just putting that under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, and on my chin. And just blending that in with a mini damp beauty blender. And I'm just going to take my Makeup Forever pressed setting powder. It's an HD powder, and it's like a micro finish. So I really like this for under the eye and... Um, really all over and it's great for if you're taking photos or whatever and I'm just using my True Beauty um, small powder brush to set that. Next I'm going in with my IT Cosmetics brow pencil. It, I almost called it a brow whiz because it's very similar and this is the shade Taupe. they'll get better one day I've got to just keep working on them you know whatever okay both the brows are done and I'm just gonna take some powder and set those because my ring light makes me super hot when I'm filming and plus with the camera so my eyebrows start sweating so you know how to do what I gotta do all right next I'm going in with this Bahama Mama bronzer by the balm and I'm using that to contour and I'm using my Morphe M512 brush to do that. And I'm just going to do 
my cheekbones and my chin and right below my lip and my forehead right at the hairline. And I'll just take my huge powder brush, this is the MB1 by Morphe, and just blend that contour really well so it's not so harsh. I did go a little ham with the Bahama Mama bronzer. Okay, next I'm going in with an, my actual bronzer, and this is the Lula by Benefit, and I'm using my M527 brush by Morphe as well. Next, I'm going in with this Kat Von D Shade and Light blush. It's actually two blushes. I just mix them together with my E4 Morphe blush brush. And I believe these were the shades Bonnie and Clyde. And now I'm just going back in with that Urban Decay powder foundation and kind of cleaning everything up a little bit. And I'm just using an Ollie and Olivia powder brush to do that. Okay, so next this is my highlight that I'll be using today. This is by Urban Decay. And this is in the shade Luminous. And I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Vice palette that I got for Christmas. This is an older palette, but I wanted to try it out. I just got it recently and I haven't used it yet, so I just wanted to test it out and see if I liked it. So this is kind of a first impressions video for that palette as well as the lashes and the lip gloss that I'll be using. So first I'm going in with the shade framed and this is just a transition shade and I'm using my Morphe M510 brush it's just a big fluffy brush and I'm just putting that in the crease until it is to the depth that I would like it and next I'm going in with my M441 blending brush it's a little more dense than the last one and I'm going in with the shade discreet it's another transition shade it's a little more cool toned and I use the just use an Ulta eyelid primer it is not matte it's a little shimmery so I'll probably going to use a different one I just grabbed that one but Next, I'm using my Luxie Beauty Blending Brush by, I think it's number 227, and I'm going in with the shade Bitter. It's just a orangey red shade, it's like a rusty color, and I just love this shade in the crease. I use it often. Well, it's the first time I've used this one, but I've used similar shades to it, and I just love that color on my eyelid. So I'm just um, putting that in the crease, working from outer corner to inner corner until it is all blended out nicely. Okay, now I'm just going back over all of that and blending it with that first really fluffy brush that we used and just blending out those outer edges just to make it really seamless. Next, I'm using the blending brush that came with the palette and I am going in with the shade, I believe this is Delete. And it's just like a brown, it's actually a shimmery brown, but it's kind of hard to tell in this video. And next I'm going in with the shade 1985. It's just like a, it's almost like a duochrome shade. It's like a bluish purple shade. And it's almost kind of pink too. So I'm putting that right on the outer third of the lid, bringing it almost halfway in, and I'm just going to try to deepen that up, and then I'm going to go in with the shade underhand, and go right over top of that, and lastly I'm going in with Pandemonium, it's an even deeper purpley 
glittery shade on the very outer corner. Next, I'm going to be putting in the shade Fastball on the inner corner. It's like a pinky, orangey, red toned shade, shimmery kind of shade. I do like this palette, but it's just, I've gotten kind of spoiled by using the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia. So I'm used to everything being a lot more pigmented. So um, I did feel like I had to really go over everything to deepen it up to get it to the pigmentation and the depth that I wanted it. It probably would have helped if I would have wet, and wet my brush for the shimmery shades on the lid, but I just didn't think about it at the time. And I'm also doing a pretty bold lip on that second lip, so I figured I would try to keep the eyes somewhat toned down. I know this is still pretty a lot for just the average everyday kind of girl, but um, for me this is somewhat toned down. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just going back over all of that with the same shades that I used and just deepening it up and blending everything out. Okay, now I'm going in with my Morphe 432 brush and it's just a flat definer brush and I'm going to use all of those matte shades on my lower lash line and just blend that mix those and blend those out really well down there and just kind of smoke that out I love the way that looks and again I'm just using all of the matte shades that we used on the upper lid and um, after I get all the shades laid down I'm going to blend them out with my Morphe M562 brush and that's the one here just you know I'm all about my blending guys you know that's the step you just really should not skip <laughs> okay I started to go in with this essence eyeliner and I decided to just do it off of camera you know I've done my eyeliner on camera several times I decided to go and use my LA colors liquid liner that I just purchased and I really, really like it. It was only a dollar and it is amazing. And it was really quick and easy to throw on there. It is shiny, so if you don't like your winged liner shiny, you probably won't like it. Um, I only did one um, eye for the video and I did use my Bare Minerals Lasting line on this eye on my waterline. I did not do the other waterline, um, and I'll explain why in a bit. Um, I'm, I used the Laura Geller Black Mascara, and then these are the lashes I was telling you about. These are the Faux Mink Lashes by Kiss. I love Kiss lashes, but this is the first time I've used these. I believe these are called Midnight. I really like them, but the band is a little thicker than I prefer. So I don't know if I would repurchase. They are beautiful, as you can see here. They're not too dramatic, but the band is just a little bit too thick for my liking. I really love the Kiss Lashes number 11. I mean, these are gorgeous, especially to be faux mink. I mean, just really pretty, but I just, for comfort, for my sake, you know, I don't wear lashes often, but when I do, I want them to be comfortable, so I don't know that I would get these again. Um, but I only did one of my water lines because if you look on like your left, I don't have any liner there and you can kind of compare that to like a day look and then the black eyeliner on the water line could be, you know, for a nighttime look. And the same with the lips, I did the Gerard Cosmetics liquid lipstick and this is the shade Mile High. I really really love this it's like a pinky nude matte shade and it's just gorgeous on everybody I love this shade I definitely recommend it I love Gerard Cosmetics liquid lipsticks and then I wanted to do something a little more bold and I wanted to try out this lip gloss because it is just so different and so unique and this is the lip lava 
and it's in the shade color Licious. It was in my last haul video. I did swatch it out, but I hadn't actually used it yet, so I wanted to see how it would turn out, and it is bold, ladies. So if you're not into bold, I would not pick this one up, but I just thought it was so different. I had to try it. And I really liked it, but it is a little more sticky than I like in a lip gloss. And then I'm just finishing it off with my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. And this is the lavender scented one, and it smells heavenly. And that is the completed look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I had a lot of fun filming it. And yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. You know, I don't celebrate it any longer, but I, all, I still hope you all have a blessed day. And I pray that you're all safe, no matter what your plans are. And yeah, if you like this, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and su subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. Jesus loves you and I do too. God bless you all. Talk to you soon. Bye.